This is the lock picking lawyer. The lock I have for you today is a Mauer MLS. It is a six pin Euro profile cylinder. It also appears to have two passive pins, although that's not something we need to worry about while picking. The keyway is relatively complex, although we are able to fit a full 25 thousandths pick through there. And the bidding also provides a few challenges for us. So let's try to pick this guy open and then I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. Using a 25 thousandths pry bar type tension wrench made by Sparrows because the top of that keyway is pretty tight and I can't fit anything bigger in there. Also using a number four hook from Peterson in 25 thousandths. Okay, one is springy. Two is binding, got a click out of him. Three is binding. I might have gotten a click there. Got a click out of four. Five is binding. And I'm, I might have gotten him, I'm not quite sure. And then six, going back to one. Little click out of one, nothing from two. Click out of three, nothing from four. Click out of five, click out of six, back to one, and that opened us up. Okay, let's take this guy apart and I'll show you what's inside. Get in there. Okay, let's see if we can pull this core out. Okay, let's start with the key pins, dump them out. Okay, one, two, three. four, five, and six. Looks like there is a somewhat odd shape to a few of these pins, but it might just be to keep them from dropping into that complex warding. And here are our passive pins. Let me see if I can coax them out. Okay. Those are our two passive pins. Nothing else unusual about this other than the, uh, let me give you a close up of the keyway. Again, complex, but we are certainly able to, to get a pick through there relatively easily, actually. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the rest of the pins, the driver pins. I didn't feel any security pins, so if there were any, I don't think they came into play as we were picking. Okay, one is standard. Two is standard. Three is standard. Four, that's, I think that's probably four and five like that. I see a spool and there we go, number six. Another spool. Okay, that is surprising. I didn't feel them as I was picking, but there they are. These are silver in color, which means we might have some anti-drill pins in our mitts. Let's, uh, let's take a look, see if these are magnetic. Okay, looks like one, two, and six. 
And all of these are just lightly magnetic, which means they could be a type of stainless. Hmm. Nothing really strongly attracted to the magnet. They could be drill pins. There are some types of hardened stainless that are not heavily magnetic, so that could be it. But short answer is I'm not really sure. Let me give you a close-up of these pins. Okay, we have all standard key pins. The odd ones you see in slots 1, 2, and 5 are probably just that way so they don't fall too deep into the keyway. It aids key insertion. Then all of our driver pins are standard with the exception of our spools in slots 5 and 6, which I did not feel while picking. Um, in slot 8, we have two passive pins. They came from the side of this core right here just for key control. And then finally, let me show you the bidding one last time, which was relatively extreme for this lock, but did not give us too much of a problem because despite being complex, that keyway really was <laughs> did let our pick in very easily. So that's all I have for you on the Mauer MLS. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.